Hey there, it's Marianne Tansley from Thrive Admin Services. And in this video, I'm sharing a really quick tip on how you can use one of the features in Microsoft Word to change the background color of the page. Now, why would you do this? You might want to be able to create a professional profile or a brochure or a proposal document that has a colored page in it. And this is really handy because typically you might do this in a graphic program like Canva or Adobe, or you might put a shape or a, an image in the header and footer or set it as a background on your document. And what that will do is it will actually make the file much bigger than it needs to be. So this is a feature that is built into Word. You can set it so that it's just for the viewing on the document or it will print that way either as a hard copy or as a PDF. So uh, let's get stuck in and see how you can get started. Alrighty, so I'm working in Word on the desktop. You can do this in Word on the web. I'm working on a Mac. You can do this on a Mac or a PC. So don't stress either way. Now, basically what we want to do here and is to change the background of my page in Word. So it's a standard white. And what you might do if you're wanting to put color in is put some text boxes in, or you might do this in Canva if you were looking to create something a bit more graphically pleasing, but you can do it all in Word. So we're gonna go from Word, this is just a blank Word document, and we're going up to the design tab up on your ribbon. And that will be the same whether you're on PC or Mac. And then over here in my Mac, but along the ribbon somewhere, you will have one called page color. And if we drop this down, I can choose any color. Uh, these are the theme colors I have set up because they match my branding. So I'm going to make this background. And you see it's turned the whole page green. No text boxes, nothing else. Now at the moment, that's just a visual element for me when I'm looking at the screen and I'm looking at this document. So there's one other step we need to do in order to make sure that I can print it with that color as well. So we're going to go now on a Mac, we're going up to the word and preferences, but if you are on a PC, you're going to file and then options and then display. And then under printing options, you're going to find the same thing. On a Mac, we're going up to the word menu, word preferences, and then we're going to print. And there's an option here that says print background colors and images. And that's what I'm going to do here. So we close that. And now what I can do is if I go control P to print, you can see the whole page is green. Uh, I can also print it as a PDF as well. And if I print it as a PDF, I've done one already, which is on my desktop and you can see it is a PDF and it runs almost all the way to the edge, which is brilliant for if you were producing a graphic document. I'm just going to change the view on that so we can see it. So you can see it's a green page, perfectly fine. The other thing I wanted to show you, because I've got this saved on my desktop, is that this is the document saved as a PDF with the green on my desktop, look at the size. It's eight kilobytes with nothing else on it. So adding that color that way isn't adding size by putting an image or a graphic element or a feature into the document. So if I was to add text, if I was to add other images, I'm working from an almost negligible file size. So it's going to make it much easier for me to be able to download it and share it without it bulking out anyone's inbox. So there you have it a feature that's already existing inside Word that allows you to step up the presentation of your documents. This is brilliant for things like a professional profile or a proposal or a services brochure, where you can make sure that your documents are on brand without being massive files that are difficult then to transport um, or send as attachments. So if you've enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the best way for you to stay up to date with all of the new videos and tips that I share. Otherwise, we can connect in other ways. I hang out on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Just search for Thrive Admin Services. Um, you can direct message me there if you have any questions about this or anything else to do with Microsoft Word. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd love to know how you go and um, have a great day. Cheers.